Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I will quickly show you how you can get a SSL certificate for your website hosted on EasyWP Hosting. So EasyWP is Namecheap's managed WordPress hosting and I have already created a tutorial about it. And in my previous tutorial, I have shown you a way in a very detailed way how to get a SSL certificate from this website. It's uh, called sslforfree.com. But uh, recently, my one of my viewer updated me. You can see this comment here that he tried to get it from this website called Zero SSL, and um, he was uh, getting confused. He was not able to install the SSL certificate properly. So I have decided to create an updated version of this tutorial and as this website has somehow uh, created a partnership with the zerossl.com so anyway let's get back to the tutorial and in this video I will not go into detail what SSL does and uh, if you want to know that you can watch my previous video in this video I will quickly show you how you can get the SSL certificate from this new website. So first obviously you have to do is go log into your EasyWP WordPress dashboard and once you log in scroll down and you will see the SSL certificate option click on manage as you can see I already have SSL certificate for tutorial I will change it so first I will turn off the SSL certificate and then okay this will take a little while to update okay so now it is showing it is not protected with SSL then on the certificate option click on change and from here I will change it to custom SSL certificate so this uh, tutorial is mainly for starter plan users as the turbo and supersonic plan users automatically get this free SSL positive SSL so it's pretty easy just select this option and turn on the SSL certificate so okay so now you will require this three files so to get this file, three files, we have to go to this website, zerossl.com. You can find the link in the description or you can go to this website, sslforfree.com. Both will redirect you to the same website. So here, enter your domain name, bonjour.com website this is my website domain name and if at any step uh, step you are not able to follow the tutorial or you are getting any error you can directly post in the comments or you can also directly contact me via email for quick replies so after you enter the domain you can see this will generate certificate for this two domains bonjour.website and www.bonjour.website so click on next step and here it will uh, ask you to enter your uh, email and password so I already uh, you can just create your account here I already have an account so I will select the login option I will enter my credentials and then this is my email ID if you want to contact me you can email me here press WP guides at the rate gmail.com then click on login and here you will see all the certificates so uh, just click on this new certificate uh, as you can see I already have that certificate in dashboard this but this is how it will be for you so enter your domain here do not se select this option as it is only for the pro version so <clears throat> if you want the free version just enter your domain here again bonjour.website and then click on next step and again click on next step then again click on next step and select the free version and then click on next step again okay so you can see here your certificate has been created and is ready for domain verifications now what you have to do is verify that we own the actual domain so we will select this method http file upload so and it will show you the instructions how to verify your domain <clears throat> sorry first download this file and this it is a text file and then you have to second step is to upload the auth file to authorization file to your http server under this folder so to access uh, to upload this file what you have to do is go back to the ecwp dashboard um, go back and then go to files and database and from here click uh, create a FTP access access for one hour select as access for one hour and then click on access files 
and this will give you the details so what you have to do is you will need a client like filezilla to access your web server so and upload files over ftp so in my previous tutorial i have already shown you how to do it so in this tutorial i will not repeat it and just i will quickly uh, show you how to use filezilla so this is filezilla and this is the server name just copy the all the details from here and paste it here and similarly paste copy and paste the username and password so and the port is 22 so click on 22 here and then click on the drop down button menu and then click on sftp access and it will again ask you for the password just again copy it from here and paste it and click on ok then this will connect ok click on ok so we have logged in it has successfully managed to log in and here you we have to create this folder in the as given um, as in the second step first we have to create this folder dot well known and you have to create this folder in the root directory so make sure you follow the instructions properly as i'm uh, showing you here then right click on this folder and click on create directory and enter it and then paste dot well hyphen non known so then click on ok and what it will do is create this directory and you will enter it directly. and then copy this pki validation then again right click create new directory and enter. paste it and then click on ok and this will create the directory and you will enter it now what you have to do is download the upload this file the verification authorization file we downloaded uh, from here on in the first step so go to filezilla and okay so this is the verification file we downloaded you can see it's the file name is the same so just drag and drop it here and okay so the file transfer has successfully and now let's check it if we can access this file over over this domain so go here and you should be able to see the text this text so it means that this verification file has been successfully uploaded and we can access it over public web so then click on the fourth step click on next step and here click on verify domain so as you can see the message congratulations your domain has been verified and they are issuing the certificate okay. so now what you have to do is uh, just download the certificate and you can from here you can see the server type c panel but that's completely optional just download the certificate and you will see something like this a zip file um, oh, go check open it and extract all the files and then you will have this three files ca bundle certificate and private key so now let's go back to the ezwp dashboard and here uh, we have um, you can if you want you can revoke the access right now um, or you can do it later so go to overview and here again scroll down and go to ssl certificate click on manage go to change and then select custom ssl certificate and then select uh, upload this private key click on browse go to the folder and you will see this option private key upload it and then again select the ssl certificate the certificate and third option is the ca bundle it's optional so just uh, upload all this files and then click on change okay you will see this message that um, the website is now protected with ssl certificate so and then you can turn on this state active status on and off once so just to make sure that it starts working and then you can try accessing your website and see if you, it's the ssl version is working and as you can see my website ssl version is working the certificate is valid so and it has been issued by zero ssl 
So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you still need any clarification, if you have any doubts or if you are unable to follow any step, please post in the comments or contact me via email and I will get back to you.